Alrighty. There. How uh, long? Sorry, everyone. <laughs> I'm a little slow. He's also a little old, but it's okay. I'm a lot slow. I and hope Nightingale can find us. <laughs> have an ankle I'm trying to get it so I can see updated chat and video, but it's just not doing it on my phone. Okay. Well, it says this is the one we're connected to, which is the correct one. So. I know. I just like being able to see. There we go. Hello. I'm going to need this. Hi, welcome to Dark and Creepy Diamond Painting. Hi, welcome to Dark and Creamy Diamond Painting. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this isn't mushy. But, well, they know it's not mushy. That not everyone in the world will know. You don't know how to crotch it. Yeah, but who's to say a stranger who's never come to the channel before won't pop in on this? Strangers who have never been to the channel before who pop in here. I'm not mushy. I'm Spawn. <laughs> spawn is mushy. <laughs> so we left off uh, last week, two weeks ago, whenever we did the last, whenever the last one happened with Slenderman's head. So now we're going to do his little feetsies and his body. Um, and we'll have like a strict one o'clock ending because I gotta go to work. Um, hi Melanie, hi Kit Kat, hi Debbie. Sundown lives here, I'm not gonna say hi to him. Okay. Hello everyone. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna start with a, a magic ring or magic circle. They're interchangeable terms. And uh, I do plan on doing like a series of uh, tutorial videos pretty soon. Um, and I'm getting some stuff at work to um, do another kind of crochet along with me video, but I'm gonna be making a bag and sewing in a lining. Um, so if that's something you're interested in, stay tuned. Yeah, um, I think something else that you should make, maybe you can find it at Michael's, is your own gosh darn channel. I don't want to do that. <laughs> One. Okay, you can just leech off mine. Okay, thanks. Two. You only benefit from it. Three. Yeah, yeah. Four. I give you free content. Five. Yeah, it's the quality of that content I'm worried about. Sucks to suck. You would know. Yep. One, two, three, four, five, six. Kit Kat, can you tell her to stop being mean to me? Kit Kat, just remember, uh, you're going to be stateside soon. I can get to you. Be careful. Mushy will have to split payment. <laughs> <laughs> yes, oh, she... you can have five cents and I can have five cents. <laughs> well, I'll take seven cents. And you can have the rest. That would okay. be 30 cents. No, you just said 10 cents total. So I'll take 7 of the 10 cents. You can take the 3. That's what I just said. Oh. You said 30. I thought you said 70. No. And maybe I was thinking 70-30 split. Alright, so now we're on round 2, which is just a bunch of, a bunch of increases. If you've seen these uh crochet creatures they're 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 all it's just a bunch of the same you stick your hook in a hole and you put pull yarn through it all right one two three four five six okay one pull up Okay, so 
So now for the pen and paper, because I can't keep track because I are stupid. I'm going to be doing rounds three, four, five, six, and seven, and then we'll have the second leg. So I might as well write that down for later. And those are just a single crochet in each, so it's nothing fancy. Debbie says it's been a long time since uh, she's crocheted. Hi, Debbie. Yeah, I, I, t I do this pretty religiously for a couple weeks, and then I don't touch it for a year or so. Oh, you guys want to hear something kind of cool? Um, I was, I was kind of chit-chatting, um, with Chris from Make Your Own Wall Art. He's been doing some crochet kits from, I, I don't know, it's like, a, I guess a company that sends you everything you need in a kit to do like a little creature. And he's been doing that, but he, came across, um, he, he, he lingers and lurks and, and, uh, stalks a little bit. Hi, Meow, if you're here now and or later. <laughs> Mama Meow or Chris or hubby of Chris. Um, all of the Meowas. Yes. The Meowa clan. But, uh, he, he kind of peek poked and lurked, saw Allie's book, uh, there with the, the recipes in it. And, uh, had to run out and go hunt one down for himself and he ended up getting one he's new to crochet but he knew he had to have those creatures i thought that was really cool and i was like well that's cool because i hunted down your alien putty and i had to have it so mm. <laughs> yes this uh pattern book is available on amazon i believe you can do kendall loose leaf if you'd like wanted to put it in a binder and um paperback I don't know if they have a hardback option. Um, they they have, I believe, at least those three. I also know someone from work that uh, they will take pattern books and rip out the pages and a whole bunch of them to put them uh, in a folder if they don't have a loose leaf option. You know, that's something I really want to do as a conversion. What? Like what you're doing with your blanket, but I want to do a diamond painting. Oh, like my graph can? Yeah, I want to do a, a well, we call them um, conversions over here. Well, yeah, but um, the website I use has an option for diamond painting. Really? Yes, I've told you that before. I, I've just been waiting until I can get a good tablet because it would be so much easier to mark off what I've done, you know, with a tablet. Why learn to crochet when I can have Al make me one of each? <laughs> <laughs> you know, and we forgot. I told her, I said, we sent out Kit Kat's canvases and you forgot to put the plushies in there. And we I were did. like, don't. <laughs> I did. I forgot. <laughs> Mom didn't remind me. So really, it's just her fault. If you want to be mad at someone, Kit Kat, be mad at Mom. So Kit Kat's getting quite a collection of plushies over here because they keep forgetting to put them in the the D stash um, packets. <laughs> Your lemon cow is sitting out, but he's not going anywhere. He's just sitting, <laughs> sitting there like sad and lonely. I thought you said I was going uh, to go home. <laughs> Wolf man, that's not nice. Mean wolf man with his mean crab arms. <laughs> mean wolf man with his mean crab arms. Anyone who's interested, I will be doing some seven days streaming. If not today, um, definitely tomorrow. Not because tomorrow's a special day, but only because tomorrow is a Monday and I feel like it. <sighs> My best favorite game ever is about to get totally upgraded on console and a big content update on pc and uh yeah so i'm gonna be playing that a lot a lot i've been playing fallout 76 uh we did watch the fallout show and i worked thursday friday nine hours yesterday i work today and i work tomorrow i'm tired you work every day till Thursday. No, I don't. Oh, you changed? 
Yes, and we went over that. You were supposed to change it in your calendar, but I guess you just listened to me. I had just ignored you as I did. Uh, we'll need to reconvene on the scheduling thing. Yes, I only work uh, tonight and tomorrow until I believe it's Saturday. Oh, wow. Yeah, he just finished the week. Um, and uh, you only get three or four days if you're a good worker. Everyone else gets like nothing. And so I've got three days. Well, you're going to walk out. One of these days you're going to walk out with the whole store in your pocket at this rate. Because they reward you with stuff in the store. Yeah. So um, we in Michael's stores and you'll know if you've ever been to one because they will some some will harass you more than others but we have to try our best to politely convince people to sign up for michael's rewards because we get in trouble if we don't get enough in a week we have to politely convince people mm -hmm. to sign up for the michael's credit card because we get in trouble and they reduce our hours um if we don't get enough per shift or in a week and we have to politely convince people to get the protection plans on things like frames sewing machines storage things like that because again they take away our hours and we get in trouble if we don't um and our new temp store manager has been rewarding us so if you are on shift like yesterday for example i got 13 reward signups um and rewards are pretty easy a lot of people want to sign up for them anyway because uh, it's free and it's coupons um so we don't really get rewarded for that but i had three credit card signups yesterday so i got free food and a free drink so if you get two he he gets you free food or he'll buy you something from in the store. Uh, I got free yarn two nights ago because I got two or three credit cards as well. So I got free yarn for our tutorial series that I'll be doing. And then uh, yesterday I got free food because I got three credit cards and two protection plans. And then if I get three credit cards today... Which I'm only working five hours, so that might be a little difficult. If I get three protection plans today, I will get, um, I have some things on hold up at the register, and he will buy those for me if I get three credit cards today. So, pray for me, because I don't want to purchase those items, um, because I don't make enough at my job to do so. <laughs> Hi, Nightingale. Yeah, Kit Kat, if you're saying that's wild about, like, losing hours over credit cards, yeah, I, I don't disagree. Um, but, you know, gotta pay my bills. Um, Alright, so we're starting back over with the second foot. This is the first foot. Kit Kat. We were commenting on how basically if I if I kept forgetting to send you your plushies, you'll have a whole room in your house dedicated to the plushies for you. Oh. Yeah, we're going to have a whole room in our house dedicated to Kit Kat plushies that we forgot to send with the canvases. But the important thing is, is I'm remembering the canvases. You know? Yeah, she's remembering the canvases, but not the scented cow. I'm sorry. Two, or the mushroom butt. Three... Or the chicken. Or, we're sending a chicken. Oh, I don't know. Or a bee. It was a bee. Oh, whatever. Don't volunteer my chicken. I'm sorry. <laughs> One, two. Dang it. One, two, three, four, five. Until they signed up for the credit card on credit, and they will t they took the merchandise today. They'll sign up later. You had to tell your bosses. <laughs> we'll see. They can go in through the computer and see, like the actual number of rewards and credit cards and extended protection plans on our register because we only have one. And so, if I were to fudge it, they would know and I'd get in trouble. Oh. 
look at that. Welcome. Ooh, triple X. <laughs> oh, Mara Nightingale. She's going to get spicy. Spicy, spicy. Hi, Craft Addict. Hi, Craft Addict. Thanks for popping in at work, One, too. Two, three, four, five, six. Tell your friends to come along, your co-workers. I wish I could pop out of work as soon as I get in there. <laughs> Might pull an old store manager and just, like, go pretend to poop in the bathroom for my entire shift so I don't have to do anything. One... Where did that go in at? It went in right here. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Prepare thine self, Mara. Seven. <laughs> and your sweet eight. little eyes. Sundown just did a haul for us over in the dark tier three corner. Ten. He hauled us a big old diamond Ten. painting of a compass. Craft Addict, I'm making the second foot for our Slender Man. So this is his first foot. It's a little nubbin. Uh, this is his head. When I'm done with the second foot, I have to um, connect them and then I can make his butt. Did you show the head? Yes. Oh. Did you mind your business? Nope. If you want me to mind my business, get your own darn channel. We both know you still would not mind your own business. <laughs> <laughs> Facts. Booty cheeks. Kit Kat, I could be easily convinced to give the Slender Man booty cheeks if you really want me to. <laughs> <sighs> Now we're oh. doing rows three through seven where it's just the same one stitch all the way around. All right, craft addict. Well, Bye. thanks for coming in. We'll see you later. Don't work too hard. Pay them bills. Get that bread. Oh, say Don't. hi say hi to um uh, Devil's Angel Madness, Tanya Potter. Hi, T P she I'm sure she loves that. Um, <laughs> she isn't here now, but she does watch the live. She's at work. She usually works during the live streams, but she comes back and watches. So Hi, devil, creepy angels, devils. Devil's angel madness. Devil's angel madness. <laughs> Words are hard. I was working yesterday and I was just so tired and exhausted and out of my absolute marbles. Don't swap me away. You I... tried to take my friend Nico T. I saw you. I was reaching for my crafting. Scissors. Get your own Nico T. Um, and this woman came up with a Sharpie to, to buy it, but it didn't have a barcode on it. Um, so I had to look on our app for the item number and I was just so tired and out of it that when I was done, I was like, I handed her my phone and I took the pen and put it in my pocket and she was like, uh, what? And I was like, oh, I didn't mean to do that. I'm sorry. I'll take this back and here's my warm butt pen. <laughs> Please forgive me. I can't help it, stupid. <laughs> Oh, that got quiet real quick. Well, no one's saying anything, and that was the end of my story. <laughs> I put her pen in my pocket, and I tried to give her my phone to walk out of the store with for a dollar. It's like, I don't need this anymore. You can have it. I need to use your discount and go get some frames, because Sundown's slacking on custom making me some frames, and I'm getting tired of 
um, not sealing my walls with my diamond painting. Please, for the love of all things good and holy, get the protection plan. <sighs> well, if they don't work out, you can't return them without that plan either. So. I know that I have that problem with my, um, what is that called? Easel. My they don't, they, old store manager would, wouldn't tell us that that was the rule, but then would pull it out when someone tried to return something with a plan, which is stupid. But now we know, and now at least I don't know about anyone else, but I tell people, you can't bring this back without a plan. I'm so sorry. Yeah, I had literally bought it like two days before and it had cracked and was falling apart. That's why you get the plan. Yeah. They would have sent you a Visa gift card. I never, I never thought that you would, I never thought that I would need a protection plan on a freaking wooden easel. They have it on those items for a reason. <laughs> they have it on everything. No, they don't. Okay. Frames, storage. Well, nobody said anything about a protection plan, so I didn't think I... It didn't even cross well, I know, mind. I know who was up there when you bought it, and she should have said something because there's a 12, 24, and 36 month option, um, and she should have asked instead of auto declined. <laughs> Sorry, making fun of Sundown. <laughs> I worked as a receptionist. I had. Uh, I said to a caller, may I hold you? I said, may I put you on hold? <laughs> may I hold you? <laughs> <laughs> you can't bring this back without a plan. Well, now I'm bringing it back and I'm making a scene. <laughs> I wrote... That was me. <laughs> I wrote... I wrote... Bok, 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 instead of Coke on a receipt once. Oh, well, my older half-sister used to be friends with my mom on Facebook, and I was so young that I could not spell, and um, and I would type to her on my mom's Facebook. So it looked like me. So it looked like my mom was saying it. And we said the, we commented, like, the same thing once, and I was like, pinch pock, you owe me a cock -a doodle doo Without the doodle-doo. Without the doodle-doo, and it was up for for hours before someone said something or it she was up noticed. For days. days. And it looks like I was like telling a child. A child well, a teenager that, you know, my daughter's half sister, a, a grown woman telling a teenager, pinch pock, I owe you, or you owe me a, or I owe you a. You owe me a cock a doodle doo. Yeah. Oh, that was so embarrassing. I was like, the one time I walked away while you, while you were on the computer, the one time I trusted you <laughs> to post something. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. May I hold you? <laughs> I also had a customer come in yesterday, and she had a bunch of returns, and they were Easter returns. A lot of a lot of a lot of people will buy their um, seasonal decorations and stuff, use them for the holiday, and then immediately go return them. Which I don't I don't care. Do do what you need to do. Uh, as long as the tags are there, I don't care. Um, but she waited so long after Easter that it, everything that she got is now clearance and we can't take back clearance items. So we can't give you a refund for clearance items. And I told her that and she's like, wait, are you kidding? So this is all clearance? And I was like, yes, um, they have been discounted, you know, so much since you bought these items um, that they are now clearance. And even though they weren't clearance when you bought them. They are clearance now, and we cannot take clearance items. Um, and she got really kind of huffy puffy attitude -y with me. Um, and my store manager came over and, and you know, kind of re explained the entire situation. Um, we were able to do returns on a couple of her items because they were just like floral decor. Um, and then she's like, okay, well, where are your balloon pumps? And I, I said, I can look on our app for you um, to point you in the right direction. Um, but if I had to guess, they're going to be an aisle, whatever, with our party stuff. 
And she said, okay. And she went and got um, balloon pump, came back, tried to use our self-checkout, which is card only. And I was putting things away and she kind of hollered at me. She's like, hey, does this take cash? And I said, no, ma'am, it's card only. It has several signs that say card only and the screen says card only, but a lot of people just you try to use cash. So it happens all the time. And she's like, oh, well, do you take cash at all? And I was like, yeah, of course we take it at the regular register, the legacy register. So we go up there, I ring her up and I was like, hey, this has an option for a protection plan because it's, you know, mechanical. So I needed my tea, I was thirsty. Um, and she's like, no, I don't want that protection plan. And I was like, okay, well, I just, you know, I have to warn you that if you don't want the protection plan in the future, you cannot return this item to the store at all without one. And she's like, oh my God, you guys have so many rules about doing returns. This is absolutely ridiculous. I've never been to a store with so many rules about returns. Yes, you have. <laughs> Walmart doesn't take clearance either. The dollar store, you can't return clearance. It, nowhere takes their clearance back. I promise you've had stores with the same rules. That was fun. That was really fun to deal with. I love people getting mad at me for doing my job. Yeah, it's you, so much fun. You personally made the rules. I, I, yeah, someone seems to think that I do. A couple people seem to think that I really, really do. Um, what'd you learn? It always takes just that one time. Yeah. Um, I had a customer come in to buy a couple frames. And I let him know the same thing because he initially declined. Um, and I was like, okay, well, these don't work out for you. Too big for your space. Whatever the case may be, you can't return these to the store without a protection plan. And he's like, who made that rule? Since when is that a rule? I was like, that is um, a rule enforced by our new store manager. Would you like me to get him for you so he can kind of explain it better for you? And he's like, oh, no, I just wanted to know who thought that was a good rule. I was like, probably corporate. It, probably the CEO or someone in his circle. Not me, though. I just work here. Costco returns to... I really hate a working customer service. People are so entitled and obnoxious. Agreed. I don't like customer service. I mean, I get compliments all the time that I'm really nice. <laughs> but I hate working with people. Don't get me started on Costco. <laughs> so down and I went to Costco and um, the uh, membership was in my name. So we went to Costco and, uh, you know, they have big bulk items that can get kind of heavy or whatever. And we go to go in. Never before had I ever had a problem. He could always just go right in with me. But they're like, you know, ID. And I show them, you know, my, my Costco membership or whatever. And we start to walk in and they were like, wait a second. We need to see his too. And I'm like, his what? Costco ID? And they were like, yeah. Um, and I'm like, he's with me. And they were like, no, 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 uh, everyone who enters has to have a Costco ID. And I'm like, listen, uh, that's my car right there in the handicap spot. I visibly, I mean, you can't, you cannot see my handicap, but I am handicapped. I cannot lift heavy things. I'm coming in here to shop. Here's my membership. I need help. And unless one of your employees wants to come shop with me and help me put things in and out of the cart, uh, you're going to let, you know, sundown in with me. You've never had a problem before and I'm handicapped. And so like you let us in or you let, you make us both stay out. And they're like, well, then I guess you guys can't come in. And I'm like, so I paid for a membership. I can't have somebody come with me when I physically need help and I'm handicapped. I'm like, would you like to see, you know, the paperwork for my disability to prove that I'm disabled and I need, you know, um, physical help. <clears throat> We do not care. If he does not have a membership, he cannot come in and help you. And I'm like, are you going to provide a store associate to help me? No, I'm sorry. We just can't do that. And I'm like, so you're denying me entrance with my paid membership. Uh, you're denying a disabled person help. And you're denying disabled person entrance into your store. Where's your manager? Well, it's our manager that, you know, is enforcing the rule. And I'm like, okay, well, that's fine. Give me your manager. They made me wait over 20 minutes outside before I just finally gave up because they kept checking and, and doing in their little microphone walkie-talkie thing. Yeah, they're still here. Yeah, they haven't left yet. 
like waiting they were trying to wait me out you know and i just gave up and ended up leaving but um i thought that's that's so wrong that is so wrong there's somebody that's disabled and that because they're the person that's with them to help them physically um access the store and the items in the store and facilitate their shopping experience didn't also pay for a membership can't come in like what the hell i i am sorry i just think that is the stupidest thing um Wolfman and Kit Kat said that Costco has always had a plus one policy. They just can't buy something at the register. Yeah, and see, that's what I thought, too. We had, we'd been there multiple times and never had a problem. And this one time that there was a problem, they called a manager, and I'm like, I want your manager because, you know, you're telling me the same thing, so who's above you? Get them. You know, I, I just, I tried to fight it, but they waited me out, and it was cold and windy outside, and... Eventually, I left. Um, <clears throat> Wolfman, I I kind of feel... Hi, Cats Gallery. I kind of feel the same way. I think the protection plans are really annoying. But um, it's good in situations where... It, usually, it's on expensive items. Um, unless the frames are discounted already. But, I mean, there are, there are times where... You know, someone will buy a frame and go home, open it, and come back and say, you know, I peeled the the coating off, like the plastic off, and um, the paint is chipped, the wood is chipped, there's a stain, the glass is is broken. So I mean, it it, it it's kind of good for your money because. If there's something wrong with it or even if you decide to break it it doesn't matter they don't care you get a visa gift card to replace the item plus the warranty and you don't have to send it back it's not just like to ensure that you can do a return it's to protect your item in case it breaks within the first year or two years or three years so i mean if it's expensive it makes sense to get it but also I, it is kind of annoying to have to explain it to everyone who does not care and does not want one anyway yeah like for instance um i use uh i have like this lap sized wooden easel that i bought at michael's to prop up my diamond paintings at an angle when i'm sitting on the couch um and i got it home and within like two days the wood started splitting apart and was splintering and actually like cut my hand on it and stuff and it wasn't it just was poor craftsmanship and it was like already falling apart straight out of the box sundown even i think had to tape it mm -hmm. <laughs> to to keep the jagged edges from cutting my hand and finally i'm just like let me just go exchange it for another one i mean i really like this but obviously this is not how it was meant to be and i went to exchange it and uh they were like not without a protection plan and I ended up talking to the manager. Which is how I got my job. Because which is how she got her job. I, I ended up buying a bunch of stuff and he's like, hey, get the credit card. And I was like, hey, give me an interview. And he's like, okay, bet. And I was like, dang it. <laughs> Yay, but dang it. Sundown. Uh, lies. <laughs> lies. Liar. But no, that, that Costco, for anyone who's interested, was in Memphis. It was in... Um, what area? Which Costco? Freaking Germantown. No, it wasn't. It was in that Horn Lake or whatever area. Still a nice place. Yeah, it was in a ritzy neighborhood um, near Germantown. It was in the like southwest area of the Memphis suburb situation. For anyone who's out there, I'm just sewing up his kibbles and bits because it uh there was a hole where the legs connect it happens every single time you connect legs at least for me maybe i'm doing something wrong i don't know i just work here but i always sew up their their uh, kibbles and bits because otherwise it looks like they are wearing kibble and bitless underwear um so i just close it so there's no hole they don't get a breeze <laughs> they don't get um what is that? 
breathability. Yeah. So I'm just going to stuff all this excess yarn in his leg. It's going to be less stuffing we have to use in the end. Um, when I'm making stuffies, I like never cut tails off. I just shove it somewhere so I don't have to use as much polyfill. Because polyfill is expensive. All right. So we've done row eight and then we're on row 19 to 15. So I'm going to write that down. Now, is this writing down thing something that must like generally? For me, it's, it's a it's must a, for me because I am, <laughs> I am, I am, I have really bad memory and recollection. Um, like that's why I use this little, um, stitch marker because I can't count. I will, you know, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, seven. Uh, no, I was on, I was on nine, ten, eleven. C Q R. <laughs> no, I just, I, I go back and I repeat my numbers and then I skip ahead to try and compensate. And then I go back a couple numbers because I, I can't count. And so when I'm doing like right here, it says rounds nine through 15 are the same ones. So they just group them together. I have to write it down either in my phone or on a notebook because I'm not going to remember that I was on round nine. I'm going to think I was on round 11 and really I'm on round six. You know, it, I can't, I can't, I got to write it down. My mom hides anatomically correct kibbles and bits in, in, in hers when it's going to be covered anyway. <laughs> Cool. <laughs> I love that. And Kit Kat, do you want me to, to put buns on this one? You want me to give them a butt crack? There for some cheeks. Because I can. And anybody else, if you want to see a Slender Man booty cheek, let me, let me know. I'll make one. Yeah, Kat, we're... Uh... Leah and I are from Modesto. Well, not from there, but that's where we lived over, you know, the last decade or so was Modesto. And we moved here to Arkansas. A year ago, two days ago. <laughs> yeah, a year ago on the 19th. But um, we are close enough to Memphis. It's only about an hour and 20 minute drive. So we're close enough to Memphis to be able to go out there and shop at stores that maybe aren't out here in the sticks. Um, it's not near Knoxville, though, so I don't really know that area. It's Fort Knox in Knoxville. But it is so much, I mean, I was in shock, and I think I, I literally went into shock when I started seeing the gas prices here being less than half of what they are in California. Prices of milk, like grocery prices are half of what they were in California. Uh, it's so much cheaper down here. Kit Kat, I'm always up to add booty cheeks to something with legs. It's not hard. It takes one piece of yarn and a couple knots. Turning, so Wolfman said, turning Slenderman into a thick boy. <laughs> yeah, my brother's looking to buy, he's in Florida, he's looking to buy property um, just outside of Little Rock. He found a place, 37 acres and two houses for 120000 Wow. It, it's just, it's so much cheaper. Can we create a family compound and move there too? Hey. <laughs> we'll be able to find them. All we gotta do is look for the schnoz. <laughs> <laughs> we'll just get close to Little Rock and we'll start seeing schnoz shadows. Gas prices are $1.33 a liter. What is that a gallon? I don't know how many liters are in a gallon. <laughs> is it four? Is it four liters in a gallon? I... Kit Kat, please. I'm American and I'm dumb. <laughs> you can't use those big words on me. You have to... You have to... Um, if you're going to move... You have to do it the, the Freedom Eagle way. The, oh! oh, 532 a gallon. That's about what it was a lot of the time in, in California. Yeah, it averaged a gag. And then during the panini, it was... Uh, well, dur at first it went down to like two bucks. Yeah. And then it the went up to seven fifty. Yeah. 
during the panini, it got down to 91 cents a gallon here. 91 cents a gallon at the start of the oh, panini man. Yeah. here. Yeah, it, it, it got down to $2-ish in California <laughs> and shot up. They were like, wait a minute, this is going to last a while. We can really take advantage of this and it went wolfman said kit kat quit speaking in moon runes <laughs> she said je vais prefer en français dab lord dab lord dab lord <laughs> dab i don't know all i know is how to say je suis uh je suis nor and that is not correct <laughs> that's all i learned from duolingo <laughs> Uh, Kit Kat said that was actually not bad. Thanks. I took Duolingo for like a year and then I quit and then I did Spanish for a year and then I quit and then I did uh, High Valerian for like two seconds and then I quit. I got tired of the owl threatening to kill my family. <laughs> I don't know what you just said, Kit Kat, but I accept your surrender. <laughs> um, I think she said she prefers French. I don't know what dab lord means, but it probably means that you're stinky. How correct am I? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Same insult I've heard a million times. Now get new content, please. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, get good. I'm working on my horror hubby. Your horror hubby? My horror hubby. How close was my translation, Kit Kat? I don't know what dab lord means. I just assume it means stinky, smelly man. <laughs> dab lord. That is what I said, because that's what you type. It's D A. Oh, D-A-B-B-O-R-D. Okay, so yeah, I, I read that as Dab Lord. So I've been saying Dab Lord. <laughs> <laughs> so you can eat gravy on fries and Timbits three times a day, but you can't hear the same joke twice. Shaking my head. <laughs> I wish I could eat homemade baked beans with homemade hollandaise sauce ten times a day, but I guess my father hates me. Because he only bought one pack of bagels. I will take it on bread. Food is life. Your jokes aren't. <laughs> when will men learn? Like, hi, Melanie V. I like how he it completely ignored the he hates me comment <laughs> you're my <laughs> wife and you're the biggest joke in it wow <laughs> <laughs> dang wolf man are you trying to get in trouble <laughs> hey gravy on fries is good with cheese curds oh cheese curds mom used to hate cheese curds You walked in on, um, hmm. <laughs> a, a verbal sparring uh, yeah, match. A verbal sparring match. A husband and wife. <laughs> I've learned to just stay out of it. I can't keep up. I'm not quick enough. Well, chat wise, that's what's going on. Video wise, I'm building legs and going to give Slenderman butt cheeks. Almost good afternoon to you, too. Sorry if that sounded wobbly. A burp tried to come out. And so I was like, ooh. <laughs> good afternoon. You're, you're not. Well, 
hope Mara, I hope Mara has like a lot of free time today. Mm. Well, uh, upgrading to the tier three, girl, you got you gonna have some watching to do. You got some catching up to mm -hmm. do. Some catching up, some binge binge mushy. That, I, I'm gonna feel weird. I'm gonna feel like somebody's watching me all day. I'm gonna have that feeling, you know, when somebody's watching, but you don't know from where. Nightingale said they're looking forward to it. I'll personally deliver him a slap in 16 days. <laughs> Nightingale, are you looking forward to being able to binge videos? Or are you looking forward to Wolfman getting slapped in two weeks? Both. Hanging <laughs> out until they serve me lunch. Ooh, lunch. Ooh, lunch. Wish I had lunch. Lunch does sound good. I do get free food at work, but that doesn't mean I'm not hungry now. D. Looking for the D. Why is it like every freaking video somehow I find myself searching for the D? Because you're desperate. <laughs> oh, I ain't desperate. Okay, miss. Always searching for the D. Uh, sounds like a sundown issue. Ooh, bacon. I like my bacon um, burnt to the point where it turns into ash because I don't like the texture of fat. So, therefore, that means I like illegal bacon. Yeah, we, we actually like burnt food. Yes, we like carcinogens. I was gonna say I carcinogens know, taste better. I know it's bad for you, but I don't know. I I'd I'd rather have you know overcooked burntish kind of food than risk like biting into something that's uh, undercooked or raw. Well, cat cat, I just don't like chewing fat, and so I just cook it until the fat is has no choice but to be crunchy. <laughs> and that usually means burnt. Oh, I thought that was sundown. Me too. Him. Me too. Did you think he was blowing yes. his rear horn? Yes. <laughs> oh, everybody. Um, we got rid of our super mean rooster. He's alive. We didn't like get rid of him. We got rid of him. We didn't give him cement shoes. No, no, no. He's not in freezer camp. Uh, we gave him to Fluffy because he has hens. Um, I guess because he hates buying our eggs. <laughs> <laughs> he has hens now and they needed, they needed a young rooster. Um, kind of, you know, keep them, keep them protected and show them a good time, I guess. Uh, whatever roosters do. And so we gave him the super mean rooster. We did tell him it was the really mean rooster. He was okay with that. Um, oh, it's gotten a lot more quiet around here. It's gotten a lot here. quieter <laughs> around here. Um, our other big full grown rooster uh, is a lot nicer. Um, a lot quieter. Sorry, I'm taking a drink of my tea. I'm thirsty. Yeah, he, he is respectful at, you know, when the sun goes down, he pretty much stops roostering the doing his rooster call so it's been nice no more background rooster in my video sorry yeah um, we still have uh the two bantam roosters um and then the mean roosters twin uh the twin is much nicer and then we have a few bird babies outside out front that look like they're gonna be roosters too so we have a lot of a lot of cockadoodle doos in this in this sausage party. <clears throat> I was going to do a third canvas, but um I want to do a 
I want to at least start a canvas on Monday that won't fit into the theme, but I want to do it like for myself. And then um, I need to do the that spectral girl running through the jack-o'-lantern pumpkin forest, whatever, the haunted forest. Because so many people were asking about that and wanting to see that one done and all that stuff. Like an overwhelming amount of requests to see that one. So I'm going to go ahead and do that one. Um, yeah, so unfortunately I, I'm not going to get to my third one. And then we got May's event coming up, what, in a week and a half? <clears throat> not much more April left, but... And we got celebration coming. Yeah, that's the one I'm gonna kit up and do as soon as I finish the the wings and things canvas, which should I think hopefully be tonight if all goes well. So I, I kind of have a, a dilemma. Maybe you guys can help me. So uh you may or may not have caught it before I did. But in one of my uh, PR and packaging in the last week or two, I did receive a canvas in a, I think it was a 30 by 40 size that was the same artwork as what could at one time or still is, I don't know, purchasable at DAC. I did get, I think, three or four people that came on to the comments kind of wrote, raised a little a little bit of a Hufflepuff stinky uh, fluff about it. Um, I have a canvas that I got off of Timu that I want to do. I want to start it Monday. I also have the DAC version. The DAC version is huge and will take me so freaking long to get through. The Timu version is a 30 by 40. And I can do it a lot quicker, which fits into my schedule better. I was considering doing a head-to-head -head situation where I'm like, I've got the exact same canvas from one from budget, one from premium. Uh, good idea or bad idea? Because um, I'm, I'm a little, I got to admit, I'm a little nervous about the backlash that I might have to deal with just not because I'm scared or anything, but because uh, the time investment that it would take for me to deal with said backlash. Because I was going to do, like, let's do them both. See how they turn out. How do they compare? Budget versus premium. <laughs> no, I'm putting my phone on. Do not disturb, girl. Go ahead. Spam away. Sorry for the bark fist. No yes, Russell, we heard you. We heard you yelling. Hello. Yeah. Oh, you're not barking. Good boy. Russell came to tattle on his sister. Who's barking in the other room? He came to boop at the gate like he's not me barking. See, I'm right here. Yeah, I mean, I don't care, you know, like I said, I have, I have DAC and other company, Dreamer Designs, uh, Craftably, I've got, I've got premium, you know, licensed and whatever, and I also buy from a bunch of budget, as you guys have seen, so I, it's not my job to police and protect every individual artist on the planet's artwork, it's just not my job. And um, if they have a problem with their art being, you know, used in unauthorized places for sale or whatever, that's their job to go and pursue action should they choose. It's not my job. I, I, I'm a consumer. I see something I want and I buy it and uh, it becomes mine. So, um, you know, I, I just don't even want to deal with, you know, the, the arguments and stuff, but... Um, that's kind of what I was thinking was I might do the smaller one for time, uh, but I do want to do a side by side. 
I do want to do both canvases and be like, let's, let's take realistically, let's take a look, you know, is it, you know, worth the, I don't even know how much that one was. It was at least $75, the DAC one or the $5 one from Timu. Is it comparable? You know? Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't judge. I mean, you buy premium only, you buy premium and budget, you only buy budget. I do not care. You know, I don't, it's, I welcome all of it. You know, that it's not my job. And I've told Allie that with her book, you know, she's an author. It is not every reader on the planet's job to inspect every book that they want to purchase to verify that there's not a passage, a line, a paragraph, a page, or whatever from every other, you know, author on the planet. I'm like, if somebody steals your, you know, author stuff, thank you, your author stuff from your book, like steals a page or a, a chapter from your book, if you, that's your responsibility to find it and, and take action if you want to. It's not, it's not the purchaser's problem. Yes. Uh, you should post, um, Mara, you should post some of your daughter's art on the Facebook page so we can see. Okay, so now we're done with 9 through 15 and we are going to finish up the body, stuff it, and do butt cheeks. Um... Let's see what else they're going to have us do. I mean, I respect people's opinions on the matter and their feelings and arguments, but I don't respect them trying to enforce it upon us. If you're someone who is like um, budget bad, budget stolen, allegedly, I mean, can you prove it was stolen? You just assume it was. You don't know. Are you the artist? Do you know what licenses they have distributed and not? You know, I mean, they just assume, um, but like, like I said, you know, I respect if you only support, uh, big licensed companies, that's fine. If you can only do budget or only like to, or want to do budget, that's fine too. I don't, I'm not a judgy and I won't, I won't tolerate comments that get judgy. There was a couple of them that were telling, uh, ended with telling my viewers, how to spend their money. And I was like, no, 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 you do not. You do not come on my channel. You don't come in my house and tell my viewers how to spend their money. You didn't earn their money. You, you're, you're not buying their diamond paintings. Uh, you have no right to tell them how to spend their money. Bye-bye now. <laughs> that really irks me. <laughs> that one in particular, you want to piss me off, then, um, start telling viewers in comments on my videos how they should and shouldn't spend their money. That one really gets me. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I'm getting riled up. <laughs> Sorry. It's not hard to get her riled up. That's her default setting. <laughs> She's laughing, but I'm not kidding. <laughs> <laughs> You know, if you can, you can. If you can't, you can't. You know, I mean, it is what it is. There are times when I have the extra pot money where I can buy premium or a more expensive canvas. Like I can go to RDA and drop twenty, thirty, forty dollars on a canvas versus you know go to Timu and get the two, four, six, eight dollar canvases, and I'll treat myself. But you know. You do what you can with the budget you've got. I can't always afford it. Um, you know, so. Conversely, I thought I thought I had saw a post where somebody was apprehensive about posting their, their progress on a DAC canvas on our Facebook page. 
uh, or maybe alluded to that, sounded, I got the feel, like they were like, oh, I was nervous about posting this. What? I Please don't be. I don't support DAC, not only because of their, the general, and this is just, I'm generalizing, the general uh, following of DAC is known, like, like, commonly known that a lot of the sector of their fans are kind of toxic and whatever, whatever that I don't care, but, um, I don't support it because of their way they do their contracts, the way they, you know, don't pay their artists. Um, the artists don't, it's a whole thing. I just don't support their way they conduct their business. So I try, although I have a bunch of their diamond pings that I got before I knew more details about the company, I don't currently buy from them anymore, um, and I don't really like to spotlight them on my channel for my personal reasons, but I I still work on them, and I don't begrudge anyone who does. Bring it. I want to see it all. I like all the arts. Why are you chewing your ice? Sorry. She gave me her misophonia and then she's sitting over there chewing her ice as if if I did that she wouldn't be tearing my head off and editing it out of a video. <laughs> <laughs> Just hear my screams in the background on a, on a leaked. <laughs> hey. It's Russell. Yeah, Mr. Tippy Tappy Toes, no. He already pooped. He might need a pee pee though. Russ might be asking to go out. He said yes. He is. It's on down. You don't gotta hit me in the kneecap, dude. Hi, Foxy. You come in like Mike Tyson. <laughs> I would have, I would get as riled up if someone came into a chat or the comments or the Facebook group and started shaming and bullying people for buying premium company stuff too. Just to be clear. Like if somebody is like, starts to become a budget snob, like people commonly refer to DAC people that get real vocal about it as DAC snobs. I mean, the same is reverse. Like if somebody start coming in and being shaming or getting on to somebody for buying DAC mm -hmm. or Dreamer Designs or, you know, whatever expensive company, I would feel the same way. I, there's just, there's no need for it. It's a sticky cloth with some pretty little beads. I, that's really what it boils down to, and we don't need to, like... Gatekeep. Yeah, be nasty and shame people. What's the warranty better at... Returns are better at Timu. Yeah, the returns are better at Timu. They don't ban you. They don't, yeah, Timu doesn't ban you. If you don't like your canvas or something's wrong with it, they let you, actually, they let you keep it, and then they refund you. I drove my Evie to the levee, but the levee was dry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love that song. My dad used to play that song for me when I was little. That and Jeremiah was a bullfrog. Dun, dun, dun. Was a good friend of mine. <laughs> yeah, I try to shield. I think I just heard Sundown say that's a lot of poo. <laughs> I try to shield you guys as much as I can, and I hope you don't mind. But when I get the notification of a new comment on my video... <laughs> And I get to it and I find that it's somebody that's, you know, budget shaming or telling us, you know, in an aggressive manner how we should or shouldn't spend our money, calling us thieves and things like that for consuming budget content or buying budget canvases. I do, um, I do hide their comment. You know, I, I don't. I don't want you guys feeling any type of bad way because of somebody's oh, ignorance. Come 
you know, I want you guys to come to my channel and feel safe and happy and have, you know, enjoy, enjoy what you're watching, enjoy the comments that you're reading and be able to socialize without fear of being, um, chastised, you know. <laughs> when they start paying my bills, they can tell me what to buy. They can buy it for you. If they're going to pay your bills, they can buy your canvases too. Oh. Oh, Kit Kat, there's a reason. Kit Kat, there's a reason for that. Our little songbird. He went. He went to the coop in the sky. He didn't make it, um, and neither did his little brother, who also popped out and um, was with us for a couple days. Was also a songbird, and he did not make it either. Yeah, sorry. Um, well, we cried over that one. We cried. Um, we're not we're not sure because because it was so unique the songbird thing um i don't know if maybe there was some genetic you know something wasn't you know he wasn't healthy he wasn't right and uh um just he did yeah didn't make it Sundown, I don't think your mom got him on the clearance rack. I think she dug him up from the trash bin. It's close enough. All right, so we finished the body. Oh, thank you, Mara. And I try to give some of um, <sighs> some of the newer channels shout outs here and there, community tab, Facebook. I don't always get everybody all the time, but. I, I try to try to rotate and, and do it when I get a chance to. Alright. Who's ready for some booty cheeks? <laughs> Kit Kat, you better pipe up with me, 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 me. I'm ready for booty cheeks. Cause it's about to get booty and it's about to get cheeky. <clears throat> Did I put the uh, she said, booty cheeks. Yes, girl. Did I put it away? Looks like a giant Lego. <laughs> I think I did put it away. Where'd I put it? What are you looking for? Had a little twisty top and... Oh, well. Shit, I don't... Oh, shoot, I don't know anything about that. I was not the one to cuss this time. I did, and I said chit, like our whipping chit. Oh. Uh... Talking about her whipping chits. Uh huh. Booty chicks. Oh, Melanie, I know. I feel so bad because um, before I started my channel, I had all the time to watch all the. I I was watching everybody and enjoying it, and now that you know I have my own channel and I've got the filming and I got to keep records and inventory so that I can disseminate accurate information to anyone who watches videos it's a lot of extra work i wasn't expecting and never really i didn't see it coming but um i just i literally from the time i get up to the time i go to bed uh i have my face in something diamond painty i used to stream video games every night with the fam i or just play i'm lucky to to be able to get on once a month anymore. I just, I just, and I, I don't have time to catch everybody's video. I barely watch YouTube videos. I listen to 911 calls uh, on YouTube when I diamond paint. Because I don't have to look at that. I can just listen. I find myself slowing down because if I watch other creators... Because I'm like, ooh, I hear what they're talking about. I want to see this canvas. So I stop diamond painting and look. And I'm like, oh, no. <laughs> All right. What number was C? 10. I 
sometimes watch LawTube. Uh, I, I did watch a lot of LawTube during the uh, Johnny Depp trial. I like to watch trials, too. Because that's what I went to school. I wanted to be a prosecutor. Uh, and I wanted to be a, a trial attorney. That was the dream. And uh, so I live vicariously through court TV or live court um, proceedings. But I also like true crime stuff. Again, I want that's what I went to school for is to be a prosecutor. So I'm all about, you know, the those mysteries and stuff the whodunits and it's always the husband mm-hmm oh it, serial killers though are my like my subset of the true crime that i really like you if i even catch wind of a john wayne gacy ted bundy even some of the lesser known ones like night stalker the green river killer i'm all over it i will watch that Okay, so we're going to have to do a Nevermind on the Butt Cheeks because now it just looks like he has a lumpy crotch area. Um, and that's not what was intended for Slender Man. I definitely prefer doing Butt Cheeks with the big plushy yarn that we did the Leshy with. So I'm sorry about the Butt Cheeks, but now now he has um, now he has a cup. <laughs> He's wearing a cock piece. You can't say that. It's an item of clothing. Yeah, see, now he just has a grundle. Could be a chicken bill. And, and there's white hair growing out of it, so. <laughs> <laughs> he missed a couple spots. He needs to manscape. <sighs> yeah. Yeah. All right. This would be a very good stopping point. Is that a hint? <laughs> yes. Sundown. I know this one was shorter, everybody. Sorry. Um, I do have to work a little earlier than I normally would today. Um, and I have to film and she a needs to alien film. buddy for you guys today. Yeah, and I'm starting to get a little bit of a pinchy head migraine. So I kind of want to try to kick it in the butt before I have to go suffer all day. I mean, go work all day. Because I close again. Because for some reason, I told the store manager that I like closing. And I do. I just, I hate it so much. <laughs> I do like it. I hate it so much. <laughs> yeah, thank you for stopping by. Have a good day, everybody. Bye, Bye everyone. Leaving everybody with the lumpy crotch Slenderman. <laughs> exiting, exiting portrait lumpy crotch. <laughs> Jumping jacks, jumping.